is the behaviour now at this next height, 489. Oh, uh, that's got to win it, surely. Massive jump. Just listen to that crowd. Well, there's been question marks over her this year. She's only had three competitions. Her coach has said that she's been vaulting tremendously well in training. And I think she's proved it here. Season's best yet again. Well, Jen Sear is just getting ready. During that race, she had a second failure at uh, the current height, which, of course, Isan Baeva has cleared, 4 metres 89. And this, Steve, a last chance. For the Olympic champion just gathering herself, there was an excitement there, so she just waited a little while while that steeplechase was going on. And then she had a failure again at this height. Last chance. 4 Nine, 489 would be a, a nine second season's best. Jennifer Sir now. 490. Coming in. No, not to be. Well, the Olympic champion, unfortunately, that's uh, the end of her competition. Just that uh, failure there at 4.89, goes up, but no, wasn't anywhere near it really in the end. Legs either side of the bar. So now only Silva of Cuba can dislodge this woman from the gold medal. Second place at the moment, Jenny Sirk. She's annoyed with herself, but having said that, she's vaulted so well up until now. Well, Silva now just pacing around, talking to herself. Mr. Baeva, I think, knows in her heart perhaps that she's got this. But the Cuban is not yet finished. Second at the Olympics, as I said before, in great form. A season's best is one centimetre higher than this particular height. 4.89. She's encouraging the crowd. They really have enjoyed it down there at uh, the pole vault. The crowd now will be watching this with anticipation. As Silva comes in for a third attempt and she misses. And the, unfortunately for Silva, the crowd go wild, but for the wrong reason, I suppose, because Issan Baeva is now the world champion again. Well, the greatest women's pole vaulter, perhaps of all time, without any question, clinches the world title here in Moscow. Fantastic, absolutely wonderful performance. And Steve, what makes this victory all the sweeter for Isn by Ava is that unlike when she's won previous editions of the World Championship, this was by no means guaranteed. Silver was the form athlete on paper coming here, so Isn by Ava knew she had a battle on her hands and how she soaked up the pressure and use the energy from the crowd to bring home what she may look back on as one of her most significant victories of all. That was brilliant. Well, congratulations there from Jenny Sir, who takes the silver medal. Well, what a night we've had here. The Russians, I think, have got uh, two gold medals so far today, boosting their tally significantly. They've had a great championships, the host nation, so far. And Steve, I wonder whether Isn't by Ava will potentially 
decide to change her mind on the break that she's talking about having in the lead up to Rio. She's talking about having a family and having some time away from this sport. And the crowd really have had a fantastic evening down there at the pole vault. Enjoyed every single moment. And so has she. As a lot of people thought that maybe we'd seen the best of her, that she wasn't going to come back again. But she's proved all those doubters wrong. I think that's one of the key points about tonight, Steve, that after so many magical, magical moments at Olympic Games and previous editions of the World Outdoor and Indoor Championship, perhaps people felt she'd lost that Whoa. percentage of motivation and belief having done everything already in the sport. But you can see by the exuberance and the celebration that she still has a hunger and a desire for this sport. And she beat Silver, who was the best athlete in the world this year over the women's pole vault. She showed genuine competitive grit there because that was a far from guaranteed gold medal. You know, I've seen her win many medals before, but I think this one is really important to her. You can see that. She really is elated. It's a big thing for her, in front of her home crowd too, you know. Well, as we've touched on a couple of minutes ago, there has been talk that she may take a break from pole vault and come back for Rio, but how could she walk away from a sport that gives her moments like this? But well, I think if she hadn't have done so well tonight, that might have been the case, but I think now she's springboarding back. She's looking at it, look. Wow, absolutely wonderful. She really is so excited by it. Oh, my God. Well, there you go. Whoever's inside that costume won't forget that moment for a while. <laughs> Whoever it was actually did quite well. And we go again. Well, you have to be a gymnast, don't you, to be a pole vaulter? No question about that. 